All right, folks, happy Friday. Uh, I believe August 6th, and it's going on, uh, I guarantee it's 1.30 p.m. I didn't really check before I started this. Felgen, uh taking down the sorghum crop because my heart just wasn't in it. I'm going to ask you to understand that. This is normally a four-day four process for me. A nice, lush, good crop of sorghum is four days for me. First day is cutting. Sits the rest of that day. Sits two more days for dry down, at least the top layer anyway. Let that top layer crust up a little bit. And on the fourth day is bale and wrapping. Well, that's not the case this year with this crop. Um, I cut this Wednesday evening. Sat yesterday to crust up on top. I don't know any other words to use. And uh, bailing it here today. I started bailing at 10 o'clock this morning. You know, this is just shy of 20 acres here. Shy, just shy of 19. Everything's single row. Nothing's merged, raked together, or any of that. So it's a little bit of a long process. It's going very well. It's bailing very nice. Uh, let's forget about the quality of this product, which I really want to stop talking about. Basically, I want to stop complaining, is what I'm trying to say. It's being hit perfectly as far as that moisture content. Couldn't tell you, couldn't tell you what the moisture is. I'll just tell you that it's bailing up perfectly. And uh, these these bales are heavy. These are the monitor is set at 58 inches. I said it before, I'll say it again, when it comes to making high moisture, heavier feed, uh, I, I, I'm not going to put my equipment through hell. I, I kind of had to pay for that equipment, speaking the obvious here. Monitor set at 58. By the time I'm stopped, they're all coming out at about 59. I think that's perfect. Uh, I, I'm a little surprised here on the bale count. I've had first crop sorghum in this field come out at 176 bales before. That's not the case, but we're going to stop talking about that. Um, I will probably hit, I can almost guarantee you I'm going to hit 80 bales. I was expecting 50. So there's a lot, there's a positive there. Um, if you were to ask me, and I bet you I'm not far off, I'm betting that half of this product that I'm bailing up right now, excuse me, 35% minimum, if not touching 40%, is that pig's uh, pigweed. I feel just a little bit better about the feed. I did some research on my own, got a little consulting from some others, not to mention some very nice YouTube uh, comments which I'm very appreciative of. And even though, of course, it's not preferred feed for your cattle, the cattle will eat it, especially um, being that this is getting wrapped and, of course, it'll in sile ferment. Hopefully mix in, so to speak, with the actual sorghum. We should be okay. I do like the moisture content that it's at so that it will ensile uh, at a nice rate. Go from there. I got dad's help here for about another, uh, he's got about another 20 minutes and he's got to fly the coop. Uh, but what he's doing is worth its weight in gold. He stacked up a real nice little line of bales in front of the wrapper for me to get going. And then he is grouping these bales in eights. Uh, I'm very lucky that I got a, I got some help this evening. 
Uh, I got a man coming out to run the loader tractor, another man to run the cab tractor with the wagon and be the relay guy. So we should have this wrapped up. You know, we're going to start right after chores. We're going to start at 5 o'clock. I'm going to do chores just a little early. Yeah, Dad's, Dad's done. And that's all right. And, uh, you know, the goal is not as quick as it can. That, 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 that's not my goal. It never is. It's kind of nice for Friday evening, though. We ought to have this uh, picked up and wrapped as long as everything's working okay. Uh, lickety split. That's a good feeling. So there's a lot of positives coming from this very negative field and negative crop. I still will claim this sorghum crop as um, I'm going to call it a disaster. Yeah, I know what I'm doing right now. I'm just spitting bales out and it should make fair feet. It should make feet. Uh, I can tell you this much. I'm probably going to wait till the middle of January. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a calendar guy. I put a lot of notes on the calendar uh, for my own well-being and a remembrance, whatever. I will probably start opening up the sorghum January 15th. Any feed tastes a lot better to these cattle when it's cold out. So, I obviously got the baler in order this morning after a couple of errands, full grease job. Uh, I lightened up the bale pressure. Uh, quite obviously, I will not run full pressure when I'm doing baleage, no way. Uh, I just looked back there and it's about at the 130 position. And uh, yeah, they're gonna get wrapped over there. I got a nice little line to start and then uh, yeah, when the guys come at 5 o'clock, uh, as long as things go off without a hitch, there's no doubt in my mind we should be wrapped up, no pun intended, by, uh, by about 8 p.m. Just in time to crack open a uh, cold bush latte. It's Friday evening. It doesn't have to be Friday evening, I can assure you that. So now what am I going to do? Well, let's spit this bale up and we'll talk about it. I'm very sorry, but i got to keep pumping here, folks. I'm not going to get out of the tractor and do a little showcasing of this stuff. I can't really afford it. I expected to be out of this field about a half hour ago because i got other things that are other things that are lingering. Okay, so we should have a nice clean field by this evening. Well, I put a lot of extra time, effort, TLC, and money into this field, this crop of sorghum. All I can do is hope now. I'm not going to call it a gamble. <laughs> I am going to get a buggy of fertilizer tomorrow. I'm not sure what just yet. And I can assure you there's going to be at least 100 pounds, if not 125 to the acre going down, of something. And we will hope for the best. If we get a normal, what's been normal September, which is basically part of our summer now, especially the first half. You know, I'm going to have to watch that, you know, as far as a frost coming. But uh, it's very possible to squeak into the third week of September before the next cutting. Now, if it explodes for some odd reason before that, I'll take it off before that. Because I want to lightly work this field up again and put it into a winter seed. Right now, I'm probably leaning towards winter rye. No, oh, no. Can somebody out there tell me what's a what's a uh, what's a more bountiful feed source? Winter rye, cut it an appropriate height, or winter wheat? I did check into uh, fall triticale. 
it's it's very interesting to me. Um, it's not easily available for me. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Ten phone calls proves all, and I have no qualms of making a phone call. But the price, it, it's very expensive. I I did not know that it was that pricey. It's not going to break the bank, but it's it's quite pricey. Um, yeah. I haven't had a four-hour stint of bailing for quite some time here. Well, I'm not a stranger to a good day of bailing, but I've never had four straight hours on the round baler. Excuse me, not in a while. Not much left here. Maybe, uh, maybe 20 minutes or better, 25 minutes. Yeah, this is incorporating very nicely together. Again, let's forget about the product we're dealing with here and the failure of it. That top crusted layer mixed in with what's on the bottom is a pretty damn nice mix. I will have this tested without a doubt in the world. Um, see what it brings. Including the moisture content. can as long as there's no problems and things are going smoothly bringing you with me on getting some of this wrapped uh, if memory serves me correct I failed you all year in a little bit of a wrapping video even just a little look-see which is kind of a shame a guy needs to a guy's always got enough time to stop take a break for just uh, one little minute Doesn't feel like it sometimes, but yeah. So it really, it really hurt. It, it really makes me cringe to know that I'm going to throw some more fertilizer down, especially with the price of it these days. But uh, you know, I put the crop in. Who knows? We're going to see what happens. I do have a buddy uh, about seven, eight miles from me here that uh, he took his off week and a half two weeks ago put down some fertilizer uh, it was about it was about the same putrid crop as mine and he uh, said he's very confident in what he's starting to see on regrowth so that that, uh, that gives me a little bit of confidence makes things feel a little bit better And I gotta tell you, it looks like I got a little bit of a crop break for a while after this is done. Which is good, because I got a lot of stuff to catch up on. I've let a lot of things linger, which is normal this time of year. The crops come first. Happy Friday to everybody. I hope to see you much sooner than later on wrapping some bales. And uh, we're going to take it from there. I hope everybody's doing okay. We're going to talk to you sooner than later.